Hey guys, Marcus Manus. Today's Tool Talk is going to be a video that's been requested multiple times. Basically, every time I make a video about a Connect set, it's inevitable in the comment section that someone's going to ask, hey, if I was to buy one Connect set, which one is the one that you would buy? And that's understandable because to me, all these sets are really too expensive. Some of them are super expensive, so there's not like you can just go buy all of them, those kinds of things. So I'm going to go over in this video the one set that I think is the best out of all of them, or it's the one that I found myself using the most anyways. And again, I'm going to explain really the main way that they all work, the ones that look totally different. Like you've got flip sockets, you've got pass-through sockets, you've got those kinds of things. To me, some of these earlier sets, they've now become obsolete based on the newer sets. And in, in all honesty, some of these things function the same way, no matter if they look different or not. So there's no sense in buying both of them. So there's some of these that if I was to go buy them today, having the set that I have, I wouldn't buy some of these that I already have. But of course... You know, you bought them before one of them came out. So some of you are like me and you've got multiple sets, those kinds of things. It is what it is. It's not that any of these sets are bad. It's just if you were getting into it right now, there's some of these that I wouldn't spend my money on and some of them that I would. So that's what I'm going to try to explain in this video. I'm hoping that it helps out, helps you guys make the right decision. And again, it answers that question that I get asked all the time. If I was to buy one set, which one would I buy? Again, that's the goal behind that. But let's go ahead and jump into these. So as we get into this, I'm going to try to be as concise as possible. I'm not going to go through every single set in detail because that would be a really long video. Like I'm not going to explain every single socket, adapter, those kinds of things. I think, in fact, I'm going to be able to explain it just by talking about pass-through sockets and flip sockets. Do you need both of them? Is there really a purpose for one? Personally, I think one of them is kind of made obsolete by the other. I don't even think you need both of them except for certain situations there's going to be certain people who are going to need a certain size in some of these so again i'm just going by the multitude of people which one that i think would be the best which one i use the most there's going to be certain situations where i'm going to be dead wrong for you you have to make that decision for yourself and again it's kind of like this one here this isn't even a connect set this is a rationing t-handle set like you know whether or not you need a ration T handle. If you need one and you want one or you would use one, then you might want to buy this set. If not, then it doesn't matter that I bought it and I'm talking about that I like it and those kinds of things. If you don't need it, you don't need it. That's an example with that. But if we get into the Connect Type S sets, we'll start with those. So that's those quarter inch sets, Type S. This is the very first set that came out, 65300 This one's going to run you $50. You get some sockets right there. They're all SAE. You get a pass-through ratchet. You get an adapter to put into your impact driver so you can use those sockets. You also get an extension so that if you need to reach somewhere in a long distance and several bits. But this comes in at $50, and in my opinion, no one should be buying this set today. There's no reason to buy this set based on a new one this is an example of where a new set has come out this one's been made obsolete so if you walk in lowe's you see this for 50 bucks i would not buy it the only exception would be this one does come with an 11 30 second socket that's different than anything else that i'm going to show you here so if you're somebody who uses 11 30 second but even on top of that i'd say you'd have to use 11 30 second and need it as a pass-through option like you can get by finding 11 30 seconds on something else maybe you've got this flip socket with 11.32nd on, you know, if it wasn't something that I used all the time in a pass-through situation, I don't think it's worth the extra money to buy this set just for that one particular socket. But again, many of us already have this because it was the first one that came out. We bought it, and now we've got maybe buyer's remorse because something else came out a little bit later. But for 50 bucks, I for sure would not buy this set today. Next up in the Connect S, we've got the quarter inch starter set. So this one comes in at $39. So this one's $20 cheaper then this set right here, and you're getting a lot more extra stuff. The only thing you're not getting is that 11 30 second socket. So you can see I've got all SAE sockets right here, the same as that right there, minus the 11 30 second. I've got this same adapter as what's in that one. I've got the same extension that's in that one. I've got the same ratchet that's in that one. I've got some bits. I don't have all those bits, but you can't tell me it's worth 20 more dollars just to get some extra bits. But I'm also getting a screwdriver handle in this one, so I can put all my sockets in this screwdriver handle, I also get the option to put this flip socket shaft right here. So this one will go into the ratchet and that allows me to use any of my flip sockets in this pass-through ratchet, or I can put that in this screwdriver and you can take any of the flip sockets that you own that look like this and put them on that. Or you can even, if you bought some of these other flip socket sets that I'm gonna show you in a minute, you can put them in that. So you do get that. And they also give you a flip socket set it comes with 7 16ths, 3 8 5 16 and a quarter. So again, if you took this 3 8 and 7 16 off of here, put you your 11 30 seconds and 3 8 if that's something that you needed was that, you know, 11 30 seconds, then now you would have something in this kit 
that's going to allow you to have that that set has that this one doesn't but again you're saving 20 bucks you're getting a screwdriver handle you're getting a couple more adapters i think this is the better bang for your buck on this set but then the only other type s situation that i have as far as the quarter inch stuff is this flip socket set right here of course partly what i have over there is as well but i'll talk about that too and this comes in at 50 dollars as well i feel like that's too expensive for this set you're only getting six sizes all sae and then you're getting an adapter to use this on this quarter inch ratchet or this is also that same adapter that's in this set that you can use and allow it to use with the pass-through ratchet this screwdriver put your flip sockets on whatever and again you can also take and put that on a quarter inch adapter which you can also do with this one as well so six sizes 50 bucks i just don't see it I don't feel like this one's a good bang for your buck. I personally wouldn't buy this one as well. And in fact, unless you don't need metric, period, like unless you 100% don't need metric, I don't think there's really a Type S set out there, in my opinion, that is a complete set. This one's not bad for the price, $40 for just SAE to get a screwdriver, ratchet, all those sockets, everything you can do with this. It's not bad for 40 bucks. But again, if you want to get a complete set, you only want to carry one. I think there's one of these type M sets that's the best for that, in my opinion. So I personally wouldn't even buy any of these unless I 100% never run into metric and all I need is SAE. So now let's go ahead and get into my two biggest and most expensive sets. This one is that 3 8 essential set, and then this one is that flip socket set. And the reason why I feel like both of these are the best ones that I have is because they're metric and SAE again. So if you never run into metric, that starter kit, you can't hardly go wrong with that. If you run into metric and SAE like me, then it doesn't do you a lot of good to have a set that you got to carry around. And then now I got to carry around a whole nother set of tools with me from the times that I run into metric stuff. So that's why I like these because they cover both of them. But one of these is substantially better in my opinion for $99. And in my opinion, it makes this set obsolete. So this one's going to be my best set. In my opinion, if I was going to tell somebody one set to buy, I would buy this one. Now they do have a complete connect set now that is a mixture of both of these. I've been asked to get that a couple times, but ultimately I don't need to. I've got both of them right here. It's essentially this set right here. And then all of them in this set, except for the two biggest sizes on each end of the metric and SAE, are actually four sizes on each end. So it's a combination of these two. So if you never run these biggest sizes, then and you want both of these options, then you might want to go ahead and get that set. But I think I'm going to show you that for the most part, these aren't even needed if you have this set, except for certain situations. There's only a very specific thing that if you run into pretty often, then you might would want this set to complement this one because there's certain times where this one might not work for you. But ultimately, this set right here is just flip sockets. There's no ratchet that comes with this one. There's no screwdriver. There's no anything. It comes with this right here. So you would have to have either the 3 8 Connect set I don't have that one that has the ratchet in it or you'd have to have this set to accompany it so that you could use this ratchet right here put this adapter in here and what this allows you to do is use those biggest sizes so you have a 13 16 11 16 16 18 13 15 millimeter 5 8 and 3 quarter you'd have to have another set to even be able to use this adapter or you can use it on a 3 8 ratchet so if you've got a 3 8 ratchet you don't want to buy another set you can just use that with that and that allows you to use those biggest sizes everything else in here it's intended for you to just stick them in your impact you basically just have shafts you've got long ones you've got short ones you take those flip sockets you put these on there that allows you to put those in your impact or you could put it in maybe a quarter inch you know ratchet of some kind that you have that has a bit driver that kind of thing so this set right here is really not as usable in my opinion because you have to basically come up with a screwdriver that takes bits or whatever again we've all probably got one but i'm saying they don't provide that with you but these also have the appearance of they are deep well sockets and i think that's whenever you look at this you think oh well i want a deep well socket that's what i need but really they're just sockets regular size sockets there's just two of them in one so you have a quarter inch socket right there and then a 5 16th so it may not not necessarily be much better than just having a socket so if i pull out this 9 16 socket right here and i take and i put this on this all thread over that nut you can see i'm kind of that's if if this wasn't a pass through that's as deep as this socket would go and then if i get the 9 16 out of this one you think oh i got a really long socket right here but ultimately that's as far down as it goes as well it's the same depth so you have the same depth socket right here even as a regular socket not being a pass-through 
than what you have right here. So really the depth of the socket is exactly the same. But again, I think it's an appearance thing that makes you feel like you've got a deep well socket on this. The only advantage to this kind of a socket versus the pass-through is if I put this pass-through right here in my ratchet, and let's say I've got to get down to something that's way down inside of somewhere like that, I can't get to it with that socket right there versus if I had a deeper socket, maybe I can get down inside that tight spot and I'm still stuck out right here. That would allow me to get that out. So again, that's the one advantage to a flip socket versus the pass-through or at least one of two. I'm gonna show you the other. But this set over here also comes with, again, an extension that I can take, put this socket in. And again, it's a pass-through whenever I'm using this ratchet. So I've still got a pass-through, but I've also got a deep socket. So if I needed to get down into a place like that, I now have the option to be able to get on it with this set. And again, it makes this one obsolete. The only time that this comes an advantage is because of the thickness of it. If I look at the 9 16ths right here, and even then it's just a little bit skinnier than if I had to use that extension and I had to go down inside of a hole that was exactly, you know, that wide, I may not could fit this in there. That's the one advantage to this. But again, other than that, I feel like the pass-through or the flip sockets compared to the pass-through sockets are 100% obsolete because if I needed to get to this nut on this right here, there's zero options for me to get this on there. That's, there's no way I can get to that versus with the pass-through sockets, even with the extension on there, I can go all the way through. I can then get to that. So perfect example to me, of my opinion, of why the pass-through sockets, in my opinion, make these obsolete, except for in the instance where you're needing to get somewhere. And it doesn't play a role so much in this 9 16 but it would be, let's say, hypothetically, I'm going to use my 5 16 socket and I need to get somewhere thick or somewhere down inside, somewhere deep, like inside of something like this. If I look at the 5 16 of the deep well right there, definitely a lot skinnier. So if it was in a really tight spot that this wouldn't fit, but this would go, that's the only situation where, in my opinion, these flip sockets give you an advantage over the pass-through sockets. So that's why I think at 99 bucks, this set is really not worth it, in my opinion, because you don't get a ratchet, you don't get a screwdriver, most of the time, probably 90% of the time, everything that I can do with these sockets right here, I'm going to be able to do with these. I've got the metric and SAE. You're only missing a few of the biggest sizes. Like you don't have the 18 millimeter and 16 millimeter in this set. And then you also don't have the 11 six, or actually you do have the 11 sixteenths. You don't have the uh, 13 sixteenths and the SAE right here. So again, if you use those sizes all the time, then that's your determining factor more so than anything. But, you know, I just don't need those that often. And if I absolutely need them the few times that I do need them, there's no sense in me buying a set that I'm rarely going to use over something else just to get that one size to use it once or twice a year. And again, in this set, you're getting a ratchet. You get the extension. You get the bits or the adapter to put it into your uh, impact if that's what you want to do. You also get a screwdriver to use all those sockets in a screwdriver, whether you want to put that extension in there, then also put the sockets in there. Again, you don't get any of that stuff with this one for 99 bucks. And the one thing, in my opinion, that would make me change my mind on it would be if for some reason, this set over here, they were magnetic sockets because they're not magnetic as well. So you're not gaining that. It'd be different if I pulled out this 5 16 and then it was magnetic and I pulled out this 5 16 and it wasn't because having a magnetic socket versus a regular socket, if I'm getting the same depth and all those kinds of things, then I would say both sets are worth having for sure. But me personally, if it was me, I would buy this 3 8 set right here, the essential set for $99. And then I would buy the metric and SAE flip sockets with the magnets right there. It gives you a magnetic option for all the same sizes of this, except for again, the biggest sizes. And then get yourself one of these small shafts and put that in your quarter inch right there. You can now use that in your ratchet and use any of these sizes, have a magnetic end on it, grab all those fasteners, whatever it is. But that's to me, again, the pass-throughs achieve the same exact thing as the flip sockets, except for the thinness of it if you're going down in a hole to get to whatever that nut and bolt is. And that's why I'd pick that one.
But yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on the Connect sets that I have. Again, I don't own all of them, but I would for sure say that this 3 8 Essential set is the one I've been using the most. I can do everything with this one that I can probably ultimately do with all the other ones except maybe fit in a really tight spot. That's pretty much about it. And I would add with this one, again, I would get the magnetic flip sockets like this, get the metric SAE, pick you up a short one. They have this in quarter, 5 sixteenths. I picked up the metric in 8 and 10 because that's a different size combination than what comes on the metric version. I think that's a 7 and an 8. Yeah, it is. You can see that there. So, again, that's what I would do. This is what I use the most. But, again, you might do something specific that has nothing to do with these, and this one might not be the one that helps you the most. But that's my opinion on it. But let me know down in the comments below if you've got Connect Sets which one do you use the most? Which one do you prefer? Those kinds of things. I'm interested in that kind of feedback below. But as always, I hope this video was helpful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video.